Okay, I'm going to do a reading for the sign of Gemini. Okay, Gemini, it looks like you've come into your own power now, so you might be having some new partnerships or contracts, so just keep continuing to move forward. Because there is going to be a new person that enters your life right now, and it's going to be a relationship that's going to begin a new phase. And this is going to cause you to be very happy. So just have confidence in yourself because there's going to be new, brilliant, new ideas that uh, lead to success. Yeah, because you're going to complete the end of a cycle here. Um, it's going to be a job well done and you're going to be very happy about this and very content and you're going to be able to express gratitude once you complete the stage that you're trying to end. Because there is a new person that's going to come into your life. It's going to be a relationship that comes into a new phase. And there's going to be a passionate new beginning here. <clears throat> so you could be also advancing in your career, career life right now. There's going to be a sudden event that needs immediate attention and time is of the essence. So you need to think things through carefully and you're at a crossroads right now in your love life because there's a new person that has come into your life now and it's starting to become like a new phase and this is putting you at a crossroads in your love life, your business life, and your home life. So you just need to keep thinking um, things through carefully because this person enters your life comes in and out of your life and this is player like type uh type energy but this person is not here to stay at the moment but there will be a happy outcome there will be some brilliant new ideas that lead to success or so just have confidence in yourself the truth will come out gemini Yeah, somebody wants to come in and make you a solid offer, so it's time for you to buckle down and get things done and honor what it is that you're committed to, because you do have a guardian angel that's walking beside you, and you will have good news about financial matters too, and you're going to want to do something more challenging. You could be doing a new area of study. There might be a new opportunity in business also. Yeah, but you're dealing with a player right now, Gemini. Could be a fire sign also. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is coming to an end now. But this is the end of a difficult situation. So you just got to embrace the changes that are happening right now. And expect things to get better. And you could be recovering from an addiction. Or the person that you're with could be recovering from an addiction. Okay, this is your soulmate, Gemini. But you might have to make a choice between two because there are intimate relationships here. So you need to carefully weigh your decisions and there will be good health. But you're going to have to make a decision when this person reaches out to you. You may receive an apology also. But this is a soulmate that you're dealing with. We have the lover's card, which is Gemini. But it also means making a choice between two people. Because you do have a player that is in your life right now. And they're hiding their feelings from you, Gemini. <clears throat> there's important psychic insights here. And um, there's events that are going on behind the scenes. So you need to release your fears that are holding you back. You could be hiding your feelings and not wanting to express yourself. But there is some deception going on. Yeah, you were abandoned and left out in the cold by somebody. You could have been ghosted by somebody. And you could also be having fear surrounding money. So you need to have the wisdom to accept help from other people. You could have uncertain self-employment right now. Yeah, you're sad and depressed about a situation. Um, there could have been somebody that have left your life and you're sad about this. But the thing is, is that 
this person that entered your life that um, you just begun a relationship with, it's beginning a new phase. And you're not seeing the positive in a situation. You're focusing on everything that happened that went wrong and not what's going right. So you're definitely falling in love or there's going to be a resurgence of a relationship here. There's going to be a lot of spiritual growth and enhanced intuition and there could be a new home. But this is a, a form of love that's being offered to you that makes you very emotional. And if you're single, it's going to be self-love. If you're looking or talking to somebody in a relationship, this is somebody offering a cup of love to you and it's going to make you very emotional. Yeah, and you're, but you're wanting to walk away from this situation, um, but things are going to look up, and it's going to be the end of a difficult situation. You could also be taking a trip to see this person. You could be traveling over water. Yeah, you're going to have to defend what it is that you uh, believe in, Gemini. You're going to have to defend your beliefs and your decisions. You're going to have to stand your ground, but choose your battles wisely also when it comes to this new person. You have to fight for what it is that you believe in and fight for what it is that you want. You could be a, um, you could be dealing with an Aries or you could just be an Emperor, somebody who likes to be in control of a situation. Um, he's very logical, he's got structure and discipline and he's in a leadership position. This is a boss type person and he's a little bit controlling. Yeah, and you want to start putting the work in into this. So whatever it is that you're focusing on or trying to put the work in towards, you really do want to put the work and the effort in in this relationship. I see that. But your skilled work is being rewarded, and you could be learning all there is to know about a topic. Some of you are going back to school also. Some of you also could be dealing with somebody that is in the workplace. Yeah, you need to open your heart and your mind to the people around you. You need to get trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Okay, Gemini. Oh. Okay, Gemini. You could be having uh, issues with a legal situation here. Um, or you want to make some uh, something right in a situation. But if you're going through some legal situations, you want to make things right and there is going to be a situation where things will be put fair and just, the decision will be made. So you need to know that you need to do what you know is right. You need to stand up what you, for what you believe in. And you also, like I just said, you need to defend what it is that you believe and your decisions. And you need to stand your ground and choose your battles wisely, Gemini. Yes, this is involving a soulmate. This is the lover's card. This is the card of Gemini. This is a choice between two lovers. One of these people is your soulmate, Gemini. But you have to make a choice. You need to stand your ground because somebody here wants to make things right in a situation. Just make sure you don't give in to other people and don't let your friends help you with this you're going to have to make this decision on your own because there is somebody that has entered your life that you do want a relationship with but it seems like they're being very secretive and holding back their feelings they're not expressing how they feel but i think this person do, does actually love you and want to set things straight um, they do want to fight for this because they do feel that you are their soulmate. Yeah, you found this person very attractive. And you are also very attractive, Gemini. But what you need to do is you need to be more open and stretch your wings and fly. You need to stop underestimating yourself on what it is that you can do. And you need to insert your independence and your creativity because you are healing from this situation. You see this person as wish fulfillment, Gemini. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius, another Gemini, a Libra. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
there is a choice to be made, Gemini, but I mean, you need to make things right in the situation and defend what it is that you believe in because you're very attractive right now. And you see this person is very attractive, wish fulfillment, and this is somebody that you've been wishing for. There are happy times coming up. You just need to make positive, long-term plans because you are on the right path. So there's going to be somebody that wants to, is probably going to be messaging you. You could have news of an exciting new endeavor. You just need to be um, original. So use your originality and your ingenuity. You might, be want, to, you might want to be more confident and outgoing. And you could be a little mischievous at times. Can't talk today. But you are very creative. Yeah, do you see this person as your Ten of Cups? This is somebody, you're going for your Ten of Cups, Gemini. You are healing from this situation. But there is a choice that needs to be made between two people. And you're very attracted to this person. And you're going to reach out to this person. They, they do want to have a new start with you because y'all see each other as the Ten of Cups. And there is a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs will be met and you will have people that you can trust. You will have trustworthy relationships. But you need to cut out the things that don't serve you, Gemini. Um, you're very independent and you're very experienced. You're very, very realistic and witty also. But you do need to cut out the things that don't serve you. And this person here, Aquarius Libra Gemini energy, this person makes decisions with their head and not their heart. But when she's pissed off, she can be a bitch. But the only bitch, and I'm sure, Gemini, you can agree, the only time this woman is ever a bitch is when she is hurt. Right, Gemini? Okay. So well, now we have that out of the way. You're going to cut out the things that do not serve you. You need to see the humor in a situation. Don't take things too serious. Because there is a celebration here. We have a wedding, a graduation, or a birth announcement. So there is a need for you to have more fun. And you will be very successful for this. If you have any lawsuits, you will come out, um, you will win in the lawsuit. But there is um, good news on its way. You could be getting public recognition or awards too. Um, but there is a victory here. And you will be celebrating this victory after you cut out the things that don't serve you. Because you need to go for your ten of cups. Yeah, and this is something you've been manifesting. Virgo, Gemini energy. Um, and the reason why it's Virgos and Gemini energy for the magician is because... A Virgo has the resources and the Gemini has the communication skills. Now, <clears throat> you are ready, Gemini. You do have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So you got to believe in magic. That's all. I never believed in magic until I met my neighbor. And he taught me some stuff. To believe in magic and then all kinds of shit started happening to me but yeah gemini you are taking care of yourself which is good um you're nurturing yourself and other people and you're giving birth to the things that you're dreaming about right now you are manifesting an empress somebody that you see as your empress in your life this could be a mother also libra taurus um <clears throat> excuse me jesus yeah, but this person is very abundant. Um, she gives birth to, birth to her dreams. and But you're holding back from this person, Gemini. First of all, you're being too frivolous with your money. You're making good business decisions. And you could be giving to those who are less fortunate than you. But you are holding back, guarding your heart, and saving up your money. But you do, you're manifesting this empress into your life that you see as your ten of cups. And but you need to grow, you need to stand your ground. You need to defend yourself. And don't back down from this person. You got to cut away the things that don't serve you, Gemini. And don't let people use you either. Gemini. Gemini. Okay. 
Okay, this person might reach out to you and want to apologize to you. Because like I said, this person is entering your life right now after you start. Okay, so you're manifesting this woman or this empress. It could be a man or a woman, but you're manifesting this person. And you see them as somebody who's very abundant. They're very caring, very nurturing, very giving. But you're holding back. You're guarding your heart. You're not speaking. And there is going to be an apology here. Because this new person that enters your life, it's going to cause a big change in your situation. You could also be having problems with your knees, feet, and your ankles also. But you are healing from this. And like I said, if you do have a lawsuit coming, um, justice will be served and you will be successful with this. Yeah, you were feeling stuck in a situation, Gemini. You see this person as your Ten of Pentacles, which is somebody, this is a very happy family life, financial security, and you need to find the magic in the little things in life. But this is somebody that you see that you can have financial stability with. But you feel stuck in a situation. But if you take the blindfold off, you'll realize that you're not stuck. It's just an illusion. You have a lack of self-confidence and you're scared to take action towards what it is that you want. Okay, Gemini, we have somebody here that's playing mind games. Somebody wants to win at all costs. But this is an unwise choice, man. Learn what you can from this situation and review everybody's motives. Gemini, there is a person that you are with and they are talking very negatively about you to their friends. Because... You have a lot, you see the person that you're with is starting to have a lot of options. And Gemini, you may have a lot of options, but somebody's playing mind games with you and it's making you feel stuck in the situation. You feel like you're trapped. But you're going to win it, you want to win at all costs and you're very confused about this. Yeah, and this is causing a lot of conflict. Um... This could be conflict over a lover, but this could also be the legal situation too. Um, this might be causing some confusion. You're not sure what you, you know, what you really want to do about this because there's competing goals. And there are some seriously bothersome details. And you might be having some conflict with other people after somebody was lying, cheating, or stealing. So there are plans that need to be revised. There's more going on than you know about Gemini. And it's poor timing. But you will get communication and clarity with this person. And there will be a challenging beginning here. You'll get some brilliant new ideas and inspirations. And you just need to start seeing the truth. You will get the truth and the clarity that you need. And there is some lying, cheating, and stealing going on in this situation. There is conflict and litigation. Somebody will set things straight and you will win. You will be successful with this. And this is the end of a difficult situation now. And once you get the, the truth and the clarity that it is that you need, this will cause an ending. And, you know, you can expect things to start getting better after this. Someone also may be recovering from an addiction because there are secrets here. And somebody's holding back these secrets and how they truly feel about you, Gemini. But there was a third party situation going on behind your back, Gemini. And oh Lord, you were doing the same thing, Gemini. Okay, so there's an unequal balance of give and take in this situation in this relationship. You could be getting gifts of money, time, or effort. You might be having some new career opportunities or receiving a loan or paying off debts. But um, this is somebody who is, is, is giving to more than one person at a time. Yeah, and this is pissing you off. Or either that or somebody's really pissed off at you because they found that you were given to more than one, one than the other. Which I'm pretty sure that's the case. So, you're just going to start focusing on your work and your, your career and your financial stability. You want something grounded, solid, and stable also in your relationships. <clears throat> yeah, you see this person as your... Um, Happy family celebration, somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with, somebody that's going to make you happy in your home life. 
Um, they're going to make, they make you feel content, um, contentment, peace, abundance, and, um, you do have a happy home life and you do see happiness with this person. And it could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn that you want to come rushing into because you might want to start, you might see the value in this person now. And, um, and now you want to come rushing in because you do want something stable and grounded because you do see this person as your four of wands, which is also the 1111 card. So if you might see the numbers 1111, and that means you'll get your wish. Because there is going to be a passionate new beginning here. And you will definitely be having a lot of sex. So, there, <laughs> just change your life now, okay? <laughs> There's an exciting new opportunity coming. The Ace of Wands is the big dick card. So, that means that you'll be having a lot of sex. With someone, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that's on the same level as you. And... This person could be an inventor, a, a businessman, businesswoman, um, and you will have a successful time. Just confidently accept the opportunities that you're offered because everything you touch turns to gold right now, and you will have an, a happy outcome. Some of you may be getting dressed up and getting your nails done and um, celebrating happy times, and the truth will come out, Gemini, but um, it will be a happy outcome for you. You just need to have confidence in yourself. Don't give don't give up, Gemini. Yeah, because things are turning into your favor. This is a karmic cycle here. This is a, po a time of positive change. And a situation suddenly moves forward. And you will have fortune on your side. Okay. So... Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, magic. Okay, Gemini, some of you want a divorce. And some of you feel like your person won't listen to you. Some of you feel like that your person needs to grow up. But, Gemini, somebody feels that you are my one and only. And, Gemini, you hold the keys to somebody's heart. And, Gemini, your person wants to tell you that you are the one that I love. And you are the key. Wait, you have the key to my heart. Ooh. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> I slept with your best friend. Oh, some of you Geminis. Woo. <laughs> oh, God. I have been watching you. Okay. All right, Gemini. Go, Gemini. <laughs> Out. All right, Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? <laughs> Gemini. Oh, shit. Gemini. Okay, Gemini, we have sudden wealth here. Imprisonment. Oh. Ooh, house. So, okay, let me keep going, Gemini. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Wow, okay, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. So we have sudden wealth here, and somebody's all stuck in their head about sudden wealth concerning a house. Because they were courting somebody else, and they've gotten a message of concern. And this is concerning a child. So somebody's gotten, going to get a message of concern because they were courting another person. You're going to get this message at your house and you could also have been courting this person at your house or at their house. It doesn't matter. But there is somebody who's all stuck in their head and somebody could also be going to jail. But there is sudden wealth. They could... Hmm. 
This is involving a child also, but you were expecting this to happen, Gemini. You knew this was going to happen, but yet you still fucking did it anyway. What an idiot. Sorry, Gemini, but damn. That's fucked up. You need to let that motherfucker go. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> Just make sure these motherfuckers don't want you for what you got. Because that's all they want. And you're no better, honestly, though, in this situation. It doesn't look like you're doing the things that you need to do either. <sighs> Shit. Okay, Gemini. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you will experience more love in your present moments. So, you need to forgive yourself from all the things that you have done in the past. Learn your fucking worth, okay? Because you're worth more than this idiot that you're with. But anyway, um, you need to release and heal the past with your exes and all that shit. That all goes with it. Because, you know... <sighs> Shit, you, you're, not, you're not taking control of your life back. You're not doing it. You said you changed, you didn't change. You are calling in your soulmates. And this could be the one. So whoever it is, Gemini, that you got your eye on, it is your soulmate. There's a need for you to be a lot more playful, Gemini. You need to apologize and express your love. You're not expressing how you feel. You need to be a lot more playful. You need to recapture to uh, to recapture romance. You need to allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. But you need to go ahead and make the romantic gesture because this is like this. You've already met the romantic partner that you're seeking, so you just need to be clear on what it is that you have. Wanted? Oh, shit. Damn, Gemini. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, which we have the engagement card. But, Gemini, you need to release your ex. You're not releasing your ex, and you need to do that if you have literally, or, okay, let's say, if you physically have left them, they're still in your head, and you're still thinking about them, and you're still screwing them. So, whatever. Gemini. Your children are affecting your romantic love life. Gemini. Any more for Gemini? Okay. Alright, Gemini, this is the romance of a lifetime. This is true love for you. Okay, I'm going to do the last part for the questions. You need to be assertive, Gemini. Go for what it is that you know you deserve. Release your fucking ex. Be assertive because this situation will improve. You got to be assertive, though. You need to start expressing your love. You need to be more playful. And you need to release your ex because this person could be the one. And if you don't release your ex, you cannot move on and find the one. It's not going to happen. So don't keep trying. There will be a peaceful resolution between you and this person. It's up to you, Gemini. Are you going to be assertive and express your love? Or are you just going to sit there and take all the shit from the past and keep repeating the same old cycles over and over and over because you know if you don't like where you are right now Gemini the best thing for you to do is change something that you're doing to keep ending up in the same spot you need to compromise there's a lot at stake here Gemini you're ready good luck guys <laughs>